Hello everybody. This video will be a basic overview of how the fluid pumping and hose system works and how to do a basic integration into your project. I'm going to be starting with a blank project here, so I need to create that really quick. All right, and we'll go into games, and I will be using the third-person template for this. So I'm going to name this Hose System Demo. Just create. All right, and the first thing to do is obviously to add the project or uh, add the system to your project. Um, and that's going to be in your vault here in the library. Um, I don't I don't have it in my library yet, so I'm going to be migrating it from my my own project here. All right, so I have that in my project now. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is create the uh, a fire hydrant and kind of explain how the system works uh, overall. So the first thing I'll do here is I'll just uh, make a folder for this called custom. Um, I'm gonna make a actor class. We'll just call this fire hydrant. Demo tutorial. All right, so um, we're going to put a static mesh on here just to show this mesh. Um, within the host system content, there's a bunch of uh, demo stuff. Um, I'm going to be using that for this. So there is a fire hydrant model that's included in the project. That's what it looks like. Also gonna set save on compile always because I just like it that way. All right, <clears throat> so uh, basically how this system works um, is any actor uh, that you want to hold a fluid, um, you're gonna need to add a container component on, and this this container component will be where the fluid is stored. Um, it basically just holds a, a float value of how much capacity it has in it. And then there's some settings here for max capacity and if it, if it has infinite. Um, if it has infinite, that means the fluid level will not change um, when you try to pull content or fluid out of it. So that's what we're going to use here on this fire hydrant. It's going to make this fire hydrant uh, an indef indefinite source of uh, fluid. Um, all right, and that's that. And then um, then we need a connection. So the connection component um, here is container connection. This is basically your pump um, if it's an if it's an output. So uh, this is also where the the hose, if you're using a sp spline hose, is going to physically connect. So the direction of this is going to be pointing. You're going to want it pointing towards where the hose is facing, rather than like this, which is how you would typically expect to set it up. So just like imagine a hose coming in and point it the direction the hose is facing. So that'd be 180 degrees right here. And that's how that would connect. Um, and then uh, if you if you had multiple containers on here, um, you could turn off this auto container feature. Basically what this does is it um, on begin play when the level starts, it's going to search through every component in your actor here, and it's just going to pick your first container and automatically assign this connection to that. That makes it really simple since 
most actors are only going to have one container. So it would be kind of annoying to set them up manually. But if you did have multiple containers, you could simply turn auto container off right here. And then you just set owning container for this. And then, you know, set that to whatever container, you know, if you, if you had two of them here, just set that right there. Oops. So I'm going to, I'm not going to be using this since we only have one. So I'll just leave auto, auto container turned on. Um, all right. And for the purpose of the demo, um, I'm going to add a collision box right here. Um, just for simplicity's sake, um, this is just going to be our overlap. So when our character walks up, goes inside this overlap, we can check if there's a fire hydrant. Um, let's see. So yeah, we got infinite. That's good to go. All right, so I'm going to drop one of these fire hydrants in a level here. And obviously, right now, this this is not going to do anything um, because we haven't set up our character. So uh, we'll grab our character here and set up a, an interaction with this. So uh, when what we're going to do is make it so when the character presses E, it's going to check for an overlap uh, f with... Uh, Okay, keyboard E. So when the character presses E, or, or the player, um, we're going to get overlapping actors here. And we're going to just set this filter to Fire Hydrant, um, our, our demo Fire Hydrant here that we're making. And um, since this is filtered, uh, if this has any values in it, it means obviously we're, we're overlapping a fire hydrant. So what I'm going to do is check, is this greater or uh, we want the length is the length greater than zero. So for greater than zero, we're definitely overlapping a fire hydrant. So we're just going to put a branch there. And then what we're going to do if we do have a fire hydrant, we're going to get the first one in the list here. So um, that way, for if we have multiple fire hydrants in this list, it's always going to pick whatever one was first. Um, and then even though this node here is a, a filter, it always outputs an array of actors. Um, so we can't do anything with this just yet. We have to cast this to um, our fire hydrant so that we have a reference to our fire hydrant because we need the we need a reference to the uh, components we've set up in here. So um, what we're gonna do is we're going to find this container here, this container connection, I mean, sorry. Um, and we're going to spawn a hose on it when the when the player presses E. So we're going to get our container. We're going to get our connection. Um, that's going to be container connection. This is our reference to that component. So if we were to rename this something simpler like hose connection, And we have our hose connection here. And what we're gonna do is spawn our hose actor. Um, so we're going to spawn an actor of class, spawn actor from class. Um, in, in the system here, we have our hose actor. This is the, the main spline hose uh, with no nozzles or anything. It's, it's just the spline um, and that, what this does is um, it acts as, as our in-between like connection between two different containers. Um, so we're going to spawn that hose actor. 
Um, and we want to make sure this always spawns because um, we're going to use it immediately. And then for our transform, we're just going to get the transform from our hose connection in the fire hydrant. So I'm going to get a world transform. We can just feed that right in there. And uh, if you needed to debug the hose for any reason, um, there's some debug options here. But we do not need that for this tutorial. Um, so now we need to set up a, a nozzle. So we need something for the hose to connect to. So on our character here, um, we're going to add a static mesh and this will just be our our hose nozzle so there's a mesh in the demo content for that um, and we'll just put that about right there and we're gonna need the hose to connect to that so we're gonna add a connection here so we don't need we don't need a container component on the character because the character is just going to be receiving it's just going to be receiving the fluid from the fire hydrant and we're not going to do anything with it so we're not going to store it or anything the the container is just for storing and that's it so if you don't need any storing you just don't add it at all um, and as I said before the x-axis on this connection is always going to face where the hose comes in and, and points so because it's connecting to this nozzle like this uh, this is already set up correct so we're just going to call this um, our nozzle connection here oops Let's keep these consistent so we got nozzle connection so now we have our fire hydrant connection and we have our nozzle connection. So we have two points and we just need to connect them together. So what we're going to do um, for the sake of the demo, these are just going to connect automatically when you pick the hose up. So um, in our third person character where we spawn the hose, we're going to set our input connection. And this is going to decide uh, where the hose connects its start point. And the start point is always the pump. You, gotta, you have to remember that. If the, the hoses are directional, so the input connection is always going to be your pump. If you hook them up backwards, it's going to, to try to pump in the wrong direction. It's going to be trying to take fluid from where you don't want it. So we're going to take our fire hydrant here. We want to take fluid out of the fire hydrant, so that's our input. I'll just make that there. And then our output um, is going to be, so we'll set output connection. Our output is going to be our, our nozzle connection here on our character. So now if all this works properly, uh, you should be able to hit play and walk up to your fire hydrant and press E and we have a hose. And as you drag it out, you'll see it uh, automatically lays itself out. And if you go back, it should automatically pick itself up unless you were to go like off in a direction. All right, so uh, now the next thing we're going to do is make it so we can spray our hose to show off the, um, the fluid pumping so you can see exactly how that works. So um, what we're going to do is we need to add a particle can, uh, onto our hose here. So we're going to add a particle system, not a Niagara particle system, just a regular one in this case. Um, and there is a hose spray particle that is included in the demo. 
I'm going to just line that up there. And then we don't want this to be active um, on spawn because obviously that would be spraying everywhere. So we're going to just scroll down here and we're going to find auto activate and we're going to uncheck that. Okay. And next thing, we need to turn on our pump uh, somehow. So what we're going to do is on left mouse button, um, we're going to get our nozzle connection here. And this is, this is very simple. Uh, you just, oops, you just start your pump. So you can start your pump, you can stop your pump, and you can toggle your pump. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to take your connection here. It's going to say, are we connected to a hose? If we are, we're going to, we're going to find our input connection from the hose, which in this case is going to be our fire hydrant and the fire hydrants pump is going to turn on automatically. Um, and I mean, yeah, that's, that's how that works. The, the pump, like I said, is always going to be your input connection. So this basically just follows the line backwards until it finds the, the pump and it turns it on. And you can call this from any of your connections. So if you wanted to start your pump from your fire hydrant, that's fine. That, that works too. Um, so in this case, we're going to toggle actually so that we can turn it on and off. And nothing's going to happen right now because our particle's disabled. But what we can do is just on tick. Um, normally, you wouldn't want to do this on tick, but uh, for the purpose of the demo, it makes it a lot simpler. So we're just going to on tick. We're going to get our particle system. We're going to set it active. Oops, active. And the parameter we're going to use to drive this is simply we're going to take our connection and we're going to say, are you pumping? So is pumping, get is pumping. So if there's any fluid that's pumping at all on this connection, this will be true. So compile that and hit play and if you click right now it's not going to turn on because it can't find a pump when it goes back down that line but if you hook up your hose you click look at that we're pumping and that's basically it uh that's the very basics of the hose system um I will probably follow this up with a part two setting, uh, showing how to set up more complex, uh, more complex stuff like what we have here in the demo. If I load up this uh, demo level, so in here there we have we can we can take like this hose hose off of here and we can turn it on hook it up to this, it'll fill that up. So there's a callback uh, in the hose. Um, actually, I'm sorry, in the uh, container component, when it receives when it receives a uh, change in the contents, it'll update this and then you, you can set your own stuff up to uh, update visual indicators. So in this case, it's just scaling um, just scaling a mesh in here, which I can't show you because it's uh, changing it in the construction script. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll uh, we'll probably be uh, showing you how to set set up something like this in in the demo or in the in the next tutorial. I mean, uh, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy the product.